Hi, this is Jeff McKee for Premium Pool and Spa, better known around here as Big Red. Today we're going to take the Jacuzzi Power Pro J16 through its paces with the help of Nick. Nick, why don't you tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, my name is uh, Nick Pelletier. I'm an ultra endurance athlete and adventurer based out of Kelowna. Uh, I'm training right now to swim from the most northern part in Vernon of Lake Okanagan to Penticton. And uh, you guys gave me a call to try and test out your Jacuzzi Spa here. so. Looking forward to getting in there and testing it out. Excellent. Have you ever been in a swim spa before? No, I haven't. I've uh, seen them online and uh, I've always wanted to try it, so I was excited to hear from you guys. Great. Swim spas were actually invented for people just like yourself. Because 36 years ago when swim spas came into the existence, it was to actually train Olympic swimmers. And through the years it's made it into our backyards and into our homes. And at Premium Pool and Spa we actually have 12 different models that we can choose from so we can fit the right model to your needs. But today with an athlete such as Nick we do have the Power Pro, and the Power Pro goes all the way up to 6.2 miles per hour. Now, Nick, can you swim at that speed? Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we will, actually. It's, uh, we are going to challenge you. This is the ultimate training machine. This has been refined through many, many years. There's a tremendous amount of design awards that are going into this final product, along with patents. So this is very much like the the very best treadmills. Okay, the very best treadmills will speed you up, slow you down, and so will this. This has a built-in program that'll speed your swimming up, slow your swimming down. You can adjust it. You can put in your own program to challenge yourself. You can also do it on manual. Now today we're going to use manual because we haven't had a chance to get a chance to figure out what's the best program for you. So we'll put you through the manual paces and I'm sure that will challenge you. This is your swim jet. Now this swim jet is positioned in such a way so that the current that comes out of it is wide and it's below the surface of the water and that's key and I'll go into that in a moment but it also has patterns that remove turbulence from the water directly below this jet are the pumps creating the pressure and the power of the water and pumps have well you can think of it as propellers but they're called impellers so they're something that moves that water up the pipe all right well that motion creates a turbulence in the water that needs to be removed so that you don't swim in any type of turbulence and so that you have the most natural swim. Now if you look here, and you can hear my finger going across it, there's like combs in here. So what that does is that combs out any of the turbulence that's in that amount of water coming out of here. And by the way, um, these swim spas use two and a half inch plumbing as opposed to two inch plumbing so there's a higher volume of water coming out of these as well. Not to mention these actually light up and they look really cool. So you have two of these that give you a really balanced swim stream. Now the other thing that we have centered in between it but below it is a buoyancy jet. And that buoyancy jet is a stroke of brilliance because what that allows you to do is really fine tune your swim to the swim spa or rather the swim spa to your swim. None of us are symmetrical. Which is your stronger side, Nick? Left or right? Right side. Right side, okay. So when you're out swimming in the lake, it doesn't come into play, but when you're in a narrower area and you wanna maintain your perfect position, it'll come into play. So with this buoyancy jet, it does two things. Your swim current comes like this, your buoyancy jet comes from underneath and hits you about here. And you can adjust where it hits you. You can bring it forward, you can bring it back. It's totally adjustable. But also, you can aim it a bit to the right and aim it a bit to the left to adjust for your strength and for your weakness so that you're always swimming straight. Okay, what we're gonna do now is I want you to see, and more than that, I want you to feel what the current feels like. So I'm going to turn this on for us. We're going to start at simply speed one. It gives you a few moments to get into your 
direction. There's always a bit of a timer on it. Now one of the things that you're going to notice as you look at the water, you can see that there's motion, you can see that there's a current. Other brands, what they'll do is they'll actually aim the jets to break the water, but what that creates is you swimming against water that's doing this, where you're best off swimming against water that's doing this. It's kind of like if you think of, say, a trout in a river, and you look down at that trout swimming in the river, He's not having to fight the current that's going over him. He's swimming actually in the current, and that's what happens here. So I want you to take this, this paddle, and I want you to stick it under the surface of the water and feel the power at simply level one. Go for it. I'm gonna bring that up to level two. You keep that in there. We'll go to level three here. We'll get up to level four. Pretty strong so far, isn't it? All right. Now at level five, that's 6.2 miles per hour. That's, uh, I think, 10 something kilometers per hour. There's a tremendous amount of force and a tremendous amount of power there. And I'm curious to see whether or not you can actually swim at that speed. It's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna start you off at speed one. There's a five second delay. Any moment now it kicks in, and there we have it. And yes, he's gonna need, <laughs> you're gonna need more power, so I've just brought you. Yeah, try and stay in the center. If you find that you're going too far over to the left, let me know and we'll make an adjustment to the, um, the buoyancy jet. So now you're at speed two. And you're still too strong. That's three. That's three. How's that feel? All right. Now we're going to speed four. You're a strong man. That's all right. Let's put you up to speed five. That looked like a good test. Well, Nick, you've tried out the swim system. Now let's talk about the hot tub system because this is not just simply a swim machine. And as a swim machine, I think you'll agree it's, uh, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, for sure. The other thing for a lot of people is water quality. 
They want to make sure that they don't have to put an awful lot of work into maintaining a hygienic and inviting atmosphere to swim in. Behind you are two 60 square foot filters that will filter the water at a regular basis and keep the water nice and pristine and clean. In addition to that, this also incorporates an ozonator. An ozonator will kill bacteria and also blast off used chemicals. But the most important thing is this also has an ultraviolet light. Now, are you familiar with ultraviolet lights? Uh, I've heard of them. Yeah. You've heard of them. They're used by, well, our cities. They're used by hospitals and water bottling companies. And what happens with an ultraviolet light? If it's calibrated correctly so that the water is moving past the light at just the right speed, it actually will scramble the DNA of 99.9% .9 of all bacteria. So the amount of chemicals that you need to use in a jacuzzi is up to 50% less than any other system. This is a true technologically advanced filtration system that allows you to have gentle water that you don't have to really work hard to have. You go through less chemicals, you don't end up stinking of chlorine, and believe me when I tell you as a redhead, I have sensitive skin and I've had to take showers after every time I've been in a pool or a hot tub, but with this system, that's not necessary, and the water is still wonderfully hygienic. Hi, this is uh, Nick Pelletier. I'm here at Premium Pool and Spa in Vernon. Uh, I was here today trying out their jacuzzi spa, swim spa, and it, uh, it was pretty cool. I've never been in one of these before, and uh, the whole experience was uh, challenging in the water, but uh, I got to see how the uh, hot tub side of things worked as well as the swim spa really worked well for kick training. I know a lot of swimmers practice their kick and strokes and it's good with uh, just keeping consistent like a uh, treadmill almost. You can't slack in the water or else it pushes you back. You just gotta work on uh, holding your pace if that's what your goal is to try and hold a consistent pace. It's something that will keep you accountable for sure. Uh, all in all, I think it was a pretty cool thing to be able to have, especially during a time where your pool might not be open or you don't have a open body of water to get in and swim. Uh, yeah, something like this at your disposal at your house is a pretty cool invention and uh, tool to have as a swimmer or just somebody who wants exercise.